Hello, Leo. This is Genevieve with Belly Down and Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I'm excited because I'm going on vacay this week. Um, this is a vacation I planned for back before um, COVID, and it got canceled because it was in the middle of COVID. So I'm finally getting to do part of it, not all of it, but that's great because it's going to work out better for me this way, and I'm really excited. I'm going to spend two days at the Myrtles in St. Francisville, Louisiana. And I'm really excited about that because it's supposed to be one of the most haunted places in America. And I love haunted places, in case you don't know. And then I'm going to spend two days at the um, Historic Con Hotel in Jefferson, Texas, which is also supposed to be haunted. And it's a cute little town with lots of antique stores and um, shops and just things like that. It's supposed to be awesome. And then I'm coming home. And in the meantime, I have a great dog sitter and cat sitter to stay at my house. So I don't have anything to worry about, which makes me happy again. So um, this week, as you know, I opened this deck on video. It's the Moonology Oracle Cards. And no, I'm not getting paid by this author to do this. This is just what I do. And um, I pulled a card for you. And this card is the South Node, and it's Don't Let Your Past Hold You Back. And it's sometimes it's really hard to let go of the past and what's holding us back. Um, I have an example of that. My mother used to tell me that I would be so smart if only I would get a degree. So I got a degree, well, actually a few. But I'm still just as smart as I was. The only difference is I have more education and more knowledge. But my smart has not changed one iota. And that qualifier, that if, kept me from getting a degree for years. Because I didn't hear I was so smart. I heard the if. So don't let those ifs hold you back. You, Leo, can do whatever you want. I have trust in you. You're the lion. Rawr. Now, the first card we get in tarot is the Eight of Wands. And this card is saying that everything's up in the air and you've got a lot of choices to make. And it's followed by the Strength card. And I think it's really cool that you've got this angel that is fighting the lion and winning, and he's got the infinity sign. So he's got everything he needs to have strength. And this strength is often combined with making the right decision for the greater good. And then finally, you get the Seven of Cups. And this is a card that when you're looking at the cups, you get to pick which cup you want. Because you've got all these awesome cups, and they've all got great things coming out of it a laurel wreath, and um, some flowers, and a castle, and you you get a pick. Um, it could also be castles in the air, but it could also be that it's time for you to figure out where you want to go in this world. And I think it involves the greater good and standing up for what's right. Now, finally, I picked a card from the Goddess Guidance, Guidance Oracle Cards. This is a Doreen Virtue deck, and I'm sure y'all remember. I like her a lot. And the card I got is Bridget. And this one's Don't Back Down. And this is says, Stand Up for What You Believe In Is Right, which goes right along with the Strength card. The Strength card is all about doing what is right. So... This could mean that it's time for you to start a, um, a nonprofit or to volunteer at a nonprofit or just to no longer let people put other people down in your world. Now, sometimes people do that and they wear it on their sleeve and it's almost aggravating. And you don't need to do that, but you do need to stand up for what's right. That means you don't let someone be bullied. Don't let yourself be bullied. 
you don't let yourself be bullied and you don't buy the BS. Don't buy that BS anymore. Do what's right for you. Do what's right in your world. Because that's what we're called to do is do what's right for us and in our world. And what's right in our world mostly is right for other people around us. I want you to think about that. Mostly what's right in our world is right for the people in our world. And sometimes you got to let go of those people. Sometimes you've got to say, I, I don't need this anymore. And that's hard. And that's kind of sad. That's, sometimes that's the right thing to do. So Leo, this is a week where you need to make those choices and you need to decide what you need. And you will find that within you. This is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text at 405-512-9400 or send me a PM on my Facebook page, Belladonna Moonbeams. And if not, I'll just see y'all in a couple days. Have a good one. Bye-bye.